welcome to the Tech Story Podcast, where storytellers kibitz about technology that makes us go, hmm, what's that about? Now introducing your host, Doug Thompson. Hey, welcome to the Tech Story Podcast, and this is episode two of my interview with Lila Smith. We uh, do a little exercise where she teaches me technology, and there's a host technology fail. It goes along with it. Um, we talk about sort of a feedback mechanism that uh, is useful in just about any scenario. And we talk about some of the workshops and all that she's got going on. So sit back, relax, and we'll finish out this interview with Lila Smith. That'd be fun. Let me see if I can pull it up. Um, it might might be another time, and it, it might yeah. be now, but we'll, we'll find out. Oh, no. what this I'm is another one of those things where you call me at the last it. minute. Hey, I'm doing a live tomorrow. You need to be on here. And so, okay, yeah. <laughs> right. We do a lot no, of I improv. Think I have it up, I. This is like a version of it. So, yeah. Okay. So, people who are just listening, I will read to you what the basics of this are, and then we'll see if I can get a version of this to Doug so that you listen to this, mm-hmm. you get a you get to see this. It's called Take Feedback Better, the the overall course. And the question is, how relevant is this person's feedback? Uh, And so for you, that might be like, how Mm -hmm. truthful is that? Or how much will taking their feedback or taking action on their feedback actually serve me as a person with my goals? So uh, if you can enable my screen sharing, I'll let you see this. Uh And then those who are listening, you can just kind of listen through this. At the top, it is a rating system. On the left, strongly disagree, here. and on the right, strongly agree. So if you imagine those as one through five, if you're just kind of trying to do this at home and rate someone's feedback. All right. So think about so, a time. So, so I can cut like this out. Time... I... Yeah, Well, and like, look, what just happened was I talked you through, (laughs) here's how to use this thing, but I needed to know it first in order to help my participants, in this case, you to do this. Okay. I'll leave this piece in, right? So you you taught me something. I'll leave this piece in. (laughs) Well, if you want to, you know, um, or we can have it just be the fit. It's up to you. It's your No, this is real. This is, you know, hey, the host. Real time. This is what it sounds like. This is what it looks like, right? When you figure out new technology. Okay. I like this. Even the colors. So I like here that. I've got the how relevant is this person's feedback mm-hmm. question up at the top. And then we have four categories on the left that I'm going to ask users uh, to think of one at a time and then rate them on a scale from, you know, strongly disagree, which would be like a one mm-hmm. to a strongly agree, which would be like a five. Mm-hmm. And so we're looking for a feedback value rating. How valuable is this person's feedback? So, Doug, I just want you to think about someone, not yourself, who has given you feedback Mm -hmm. about something that's important to you. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to share who that is, but if you want to, you can. Mm -hmm. And if you would prefer to keep it private for now, then just let me know. Okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use you. Like it okay. I'm going to use you. So, and actually, no, I'll use Diana because she's giving me some good feedback on that. So, okay, cool. So let's think about Diana's feedback mm-hmm. about whatever the thing was. Mm-hmm. Um, and what was the thing that she gave you feedback? Oh, about? It, it was it was about the TED talk. So we we agreed that we could we would listen to each other's feedback, but we wouldn't criticize ourselves. So she was giving me some feedback about that. That's great. I love mm-hmm. that agreement. I love that you set up an agreement with mm-hmm. her two ahead of time so that you both were prepared for the kind of feedback that you would get Mm -hmm. and that there would be no egos involved if you did or didn't decide to implement that feedback. Mm So Mm -hmm. kudos to you both for creating that safe space. Mm -hmm. So uh, in just evaluating Diana's feedback Mm -hmm. um, on a scale from strongly disagree to strongly agree, Mm -hmm. or if you're at home, one to five, rate this statement. Diana has Mm -hmm. my best interests at heart. No, that's definitely a strongly agree. Okay. And you can see up at the top, she already now has a 25% feedback value Mm -hmm. rating without continuing to the other three elements. The next one, does Diana have experience relevant to the feedback that she gave you? Yep. 
strongly agree. And okay, and by the, at the time that she gave you this feedback. Um, I'm just, you know, mm -hmm. asking about this mm -hmm. for the second one. At the time that she gave mm -hmm. you this feedback, had she already given a TED Talk herself? No. So that was the interesting thing. That would be the only thing. I, you know, I was using her background as an actor as well, and the other things that she's done yeah. as an MC. But she had not so done a you, TED. Yeah. So that was... I'm rating this a four. Slightly okay. agree. Okay. Like on a scale from one to five. <clears throat> Can you think of someone who would be a five? Uh well, now she would be because she's done two of them <laughs> or she's done right. at least one. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, good example. Yeah. Um, so at the time that she gave you mm -hmm. the feedback, she has a lot of relevant experience, mm -hmm. which gives her like a four out of five. Mm -hmm. But does she have exact experience that would make her a five? Not yet. Okay. Okay. The third item makes mm -hmm. decisions about you or your work that directly affect your goal. So let's think about your goal. Your mm -hmm. goal was to deliver an effective TED talk, mm -hmm. right? Um, if you did... Who would be making the best possible for you decision? Would it be the TED organizers asking you to come back or making a referral? Would it be audiences sharing your video? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it would be audiences so sharing the, the video with that one. Okay, great. Yeah. So then let's think about that, that your goal is to create something that is so high value that the action that would be taken mm -hmm. is that an audience member will share it. So could Diana mm -hmm. be one of those people that if she likes it that much that she would share it? Yes. Okay. Then we're going to give her a five in this mm -hmm. category, right? Strongly yeah. agree? Yes. Okay. And then finally, now that you know what her feedback was, mm -hmm. can you imagine implementing that feedback and then ask yourself this final question? Does implementing this feedback align with your values? Yeah, so the, part of it was a style type mm -hmm. thing and and it's and it's the yeah was, uh, as far as values and just the, yeah there's some things i could change and some things i would do better i would do slightly agree on this one slightly agree <clears throat> yeah okay because there's a couple That's things a that, that i've been in in the past from you know giving presentation and doing, and doing these other things that i know that i don't fit and i've tried it and it's just you know in this case there's not necessarily values but how I connect with the audience and, and carry yourself on stage. You know, I, I know yeah, there's some who, things, who and you some, are. right. Some styles that I can't replicate and you know, that that's a whole other story, but yeah. So I would give that a slight. No, I think that yeah. that's a perfect example and a, and a really great job done by you just now in applying the non-literal, mm -hmm. right? So it's not just what my values are, but also mm -hmm. you made it, here is something that I can relate it to. So it might not be about values, mm -hmm. but about style. Like, is that me? Mm -hmm. Basically is the gist of the question. So understanding the real meaning of it and then applying that mm -hmm. is what you just did. So I wanted to call that out and appreciate that. Yeah, no, I, I, so you can I, see I, I like the top of the forms. You got yeah. a 90% feedback value rating. Yeah. That's pretty high. That is. And, and yeah, I like the way that you explain because when I, number three, you know, makes decisions about me or my work. You know, and, and if, if this was my manager giving something, then that's a different thing. But in this case that was giving, how could you repurpose that to fit that situation? I think it was a was a brilliant way of of helping me tell that story, helping. OK, I, I need this. This is a piece of her feedback that and, and how highly I value it. And it's an aspect that that I hadn't even considered on that. So, I mean, that, that gave me a little bit more depth and texture. Cool. Yeah. So. Well, thank you for going through this with me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that like in terms of imagining for ourselves how valuable somebody else's feedback is. And oh, by the way, if you are at home and you are rating from strongly disagree to strongly agree on a scale of mm -hmm. one to five in these four uh, categories, then you can multiply the score from each line by five and that'll get you to an ultimate uh, feedback route value rating. We'll mm -hmm. also uh, find a way to get you this document once it's cool. ready yeah. but yeah like this whole thing and by the way um the technology needed to create this interactive mm -hmm. pdf is something that i alone never would have done on my own because mm -hmm. i would have looked at something like this and said absolutely not that is something for other people to do <laughs> and in fact i did have somebody else help me with this well, but yeah. having it is so important to me mm -hmm. so at that point in time of your story uh, the the effort to put forth for yourself to do that was not worth the 
the, the time investment that you'd have to do that, the, the resultant value of that, or was it just right? Yeah, right. Because in my head, I yeah. need to spend six years mm-hmm. developing this. Yeah, <laughs> in my head, something that might take <laughs> someone else a few days yeah. will take me the like the entire rest of my life. Yeah, and that's what you know anxiety does is it blows things up and makes them bigger than it is. Mm-hmm. Uh, it also makes these assumptions that are not true. It's based in a lot of mm-hmm. stuff that's not logical, that doesn't make sense. But that was my experience. And so wanting to avoid the experience of feeling like a failure for six years straight until something resulted mm-hmm. that was okay, yeah. that by that time I would have lost interest in, yeah, totally made me feel disengaged in the process of creating it. Yeah. So it sounds like you were just waiting out the process. I know if I wait long enough, it won't matter anyways. So I just get it done. <laughs> kind of. Yeah. Or like I'll float, you know, I'll yeah. get by with the stuff that I do have. Yeah. This stuff where I'm just talking to a person. Mm-hmm. This is my highest value contribution to the world Mm -hmm. where I can talk to one or many people and give them an experience that is different Mm -hmm. for them than anybody else uh, that they would get with with anybody else. And also that takes them from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. Beginning of a conversation with me, they're at this one place in their life and feelings and emotions and feeling prepared or not or clarity. And then at the end, they feel better. Yeah. <laughs> they feel more confident. They feel um, more prepared, ready to communicate, ready to say things better. Uh, I, uh, and that's great. So if you had one tip, because I know you got, I'm going to cover these workshops here in just a minute because you've got every, everything's better. I like do do things better. Um, <laughs> I do my hair yeah. better, but that's that's a whole other battle that goes on. <laughs> So and, and and being technical, being tech savvy, as, as you mentioned, but also talking to a lot of tech technical people that come to you for help with their stories. What's the probably the most common? Everybody's in usual. What's what's sort of a universal truth of of all these people? I mean, it's it, I know to varying degrees, and but but you know, I, I have an idea for myself, and then I want to sort of see what your your view of it is. Then we'll share. It's the overwhelm. Mm-hmm. We in ourselves carry the full truth to ourselves, truth, right? And context Mm -hmm. of our whole life. Mm -hmm. And we've experienced things moment to moment with a degree of connection and intensity, uh, assigning stakes, like what's high stakes to a moment for ourselves might not be the same as what's high stakes or really important to the person we're talking to. Mm -hmm. So just first imagining, not even like, any parts of your story, any of the parts, just mm-hmm. leave them out and ask yourself what the impact is that you want to have. Mm-hmm. Start with that because we all have a billion pieces of our story we could pull out and apply. But if you're applying all of your pieces, none of them will stick mm-hmm. because it's just too much for somebody to hold the, the, the entire value of your life's work and knowledge and experiences. I call that but text explaining. If you explaining. Can just give people a few things, they'll be able to hold them. Yeah. Yeah, I call that text explaining. And that's what it is. It's it's you Yeah. And, and you see that a bunch yeah, I find it it's almost like you watch a National Geographic type thing and I'm the narrator narrating in the background as I'm watching these indigenous people talk to each other. Uh but you know, you see their engineers AI or something and I find that the more the more intelligent that they are when they get amongst them peers, the discussion that they have is, is text play. It's just so deep. And, you know, cause they all want to show that I cut 16 milliseconds off of one. Cause you know, it, it's, that's the cool part to them. You know, they're sharing right. and, and that's what makes them really good. They all share. But if you go talk to somebody that needs to, to buy it or to pay for it, I, again, as you're saying, my life experiences and my needs don't match that. So it really doesn't, doesn't ring true to me. And you know, you're just, I'm going to tune right. out. You're going to be, you know, not effective, not effective in that. If we go back to that review. So that's, that's you what tell I tell somebody. And look, we experience mm-hmm. one sixteenth of a second. And if we didn't experience it, then that developer or whoever created that mm-hmm. difference wouldn't mention it, but it was important enough mm-hmm. to do it. It was important mm-hmm. enough to mention it. Somebody else is going to experience it. Mm-hmm. It is true to say I made that faster. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's even more important to say When you are doing X thing, you can do it faster now than ever, you know, so that the Mm -hmm. story is not, I made this, but here's how it impacts you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so it's what it means to the listener, you know, what's the value to them. And that's, that's the important thing is 
And, and I, as I like to tell people, start with the listener in mind. Start your story there. Because if you yeah. don't start there, that you got this chasm that a lot of people aren't willing to cross. It, it's sort of like right. that crowded room, and, and you're on stage or something like that. And we'd 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 connected a few times before that, but if we wouldn't have connected before that, I probably would not have come up to you. Although I don't think that would have stopped you coming up to me. I mean, it was just you absolutely know, not. That's, that's yeah. What you are. <laughs> but but yeah. you know, I would have I would have been over by the bar doing you know in you know waving at Matt. Hey Matt, how you doing? Um, just, just, you know, it'd been a different experience. So, so, but I was like, Doug Thompson, yeah. what <laughs> <laughs> must meet and like yeah. clearing crowds of women and children and knocking over <laughs> carts of apples on my way, you know, tearing through yes. the bar to get to you. But, but that was a great but experience. You didn't have much of a choice actually. So, so what are the, what are the <laughs> workshops that you've been up to? Again, you, you keep adding them. They're bringing up. I've, I've been, I've been to as many, I get to as many as I can. They just it don't seem to happen when I'm actually actually working but um yeah talk to me about those i do at least one per month that Mm -hmm. is communication focused they're all communication focused in one way or another but some of them are also marketing focused Mm -hmm. so there are workshops like verb your values which really help you with identifying verbs you can use almost like a mantra to remind yourself of how you want to treat other people Mm -hmm. what you want to do to them when you communicate and so that's a pretty cool one. Verb Your Values is next up on January 27th, 2021. And other workshops I've done this year have been Take Feedback Better, uh, which I broke into two different workshops, one for taking professional feedback and a different one for taking feedback from family and friends because those are different mindsets, yes. right? Uh, and so two different workshops there. I did email things better where I talked about email marketing. I did post things better where I talked about account-based content marketing, which most people don't do. Mm -hmm. And it it is that. It's like if you're going to create a post on social media, understanding first who you're talking to. And Mm -hmm. in this workshop, we talked about not just who in general or the avatar, but I'm like, give me the name, title, company, email address, contact information, or, you know, don't give it to me, but keep it and Mm -hmm. have it when you come of someone who can hire you or say yes to you for something important. If you want to reach that person or deepen your relationship with that person, this content is your way to do that. And so imagine putting something up on social media and then having social media exist only to put some social proof on it. Mm -hmm. Some likes, some, yeah, that's a good idea. Some other people saying, go girl, you know, whatever. And that is the whole purpose of social media. You then take a link to that post and email it, text it, you know, call someone and tell them about it. Who is that person? Mm -hmm. The one whose name you started with the beginning, that is account-based content marketing. And so went through, you know, more of that Mm -hmm. in that workshop. I did nonprofit community building on LinkedIn, Mm -hmm. wanting to do what I could to give back in a way that I knew I could. That is now a course that's pinned to my profile on LinkedIn. Um, People are interested in, learning how to get their nonprofit active on LinkedIn. There've been a bunch, there've been a bunch of these workshops and it's been keeping me busy, keeping me engaged, connected to people. And they are really what made me think I have to do more of this Mm -hmm. and I have to do this better (laughs) because Mm -hmm. anything that I do, I want to do better. And so that's going to mean for me learning new technologies and rolling them out as I go. Well, that's, that's excellent. That's cool. That's a, that's a great story to go along with it and to close out. We're doing this in December 20, 2020, who for a lot of people has been sort of a, a, a icky year, to say the least. But you, it is what you make of it in a lot of cases. And you took you took the bull by the horns and made some really good stories out of that. And, and uh, you know, I, I, wa- I watched you grow and do some really cool things with it. It's been great. Thanks. So how's, how's the best way to people get a hold of you? People can follow me on LinkedIn. It's Lila mm-hmm. Smith, L-I-L-A. You can look up the hashtag Say Things Better and mm-hmm. find me that way too. And you can go to saythingsbetter.com mm-hmm. and fill out a contact form or sign up for the mailing list. And you can also email me if you're interested in working directly right now. There's something you know you have to say better. Mm-hmm. Email me at lila at saythingsbetter.com. Yeah, and you may recognize her voice. She does the intro to my podcast, so... <laughs> I, I didn't want to give her that little plug there. She, Welcome she did to her the great Story voiceover. podcast starring <laughs> Doug Thompson and Lila Smith and you. <laughs> there we go. There we go. I, I got a co-host now. So 
So, Lila, thanks for this. <laughs> um, we'll, we'll tidy this thing up. And uh, guys and gals, just help say things better. Bye. Bye. Hey, thanks for listening to the Tech Story Podcast. And it would really be helpful if you'd go out to Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you get your podcast and rate it. You know, give it a five star because it helps other people find the podcast. It really raises the visibility and it would mean the world to me if you would do that. <laughs> <laughs>